given grants to do that under the guise to get publicity, because nobody would really care about that and it would be condemned for doing that, under the guise of harassing fake psychics and um, people like Popoff, the con artist uh, German uh, preacher who was, uh, and by the way, who's still operating and still making millions of dollars, Popoff uh, with his medicine tent healings. So, um, so he went after him and exposed him and he went down for a few years. He lives in a giant mansion. He's still taking in huge amounts of money and doing quite well. Uh, so as usual, Randy didn't follow up on that and didn't make sure anything's done. What he followed up was trying to suppress uh, the important areas, which is human consciousness and going after psychics and everything else because uh, he could reproduce in a fraudulent way what psychics can reproduce in a non-fraudulent way. So all magicians, theatrical magicians, are con men and actually laugh at you to trick you by doing some oftentimes simple little illusion or trick and taking a lot of your money and making you look like a fool. And because they can reproduce what psychics do naturally, they think everybody is a con like they are because they're such low morality people to begin with. All these magicians are con artists and are people of a low, low mentality and uh, dubious in every phase of their life, like Penn Gillette and his little S&M sellers he has and uh, the fact that he couldn't, he, you know, he ate it was 150 pounds overweight and was sick and everything else. Couldn't figure out that, you know, putting peanut butter on cheese and eating two boxes of Krispy Kreme donuts while he was 310 pounds it wasn't good for him. What a genius you are, Gillette. The juggler who didn't graduate high school. Okay. So, and we need to know these things. What are their background? What makes them credible? He has a lot of money and has a PR agent and gets on TV and talks about these things. And of course, he's anti any kind of spirituality as well. So, I mean, you know, which is an imbecile way of looking at things. And we're not talking about religion, but to think that this world is so cut and dry that we're all meat puppets is a little bit uh, absurd. And we've proven the fact that this isn't true in 150 years of modern research into, quote, metaphysics, all alternative science. We've proven it much more than anything else has been proven out there, period. But of course, the parapsychologists and other cowards out there will not confront these people and do anything about it. So it's the same old story. So as we get going there, we need to fully understand what's happening there. So understanding force energy physics, as it is known now and as it will be in the future, as we move all of these old backward ideas, which are great foundations and we honor our uh, the pioneers in these fields, but we can't slavishly follow things that were done hundreds of years ago and think they equate to now. It's ridiculous. So, um, so we need to move on past that. So, Homeopathy, or using these subtle energy physics, as it's commonly called, which is now called force energy physics, which is what radionic type machines, again, these are machines that use a particular type of, I call it the soul force, uh, which is a, an energetic uh, uh, field that is connected to the human body, that the body then serves as a channel uh, to bring through these machines, etc., and they're really not machines, they're just psychic tuners. And we have to understand that. Now, you want to take it past that, though. You want to make sure that you go into understanding that these are, um, that this energy needs to be amplified. It needs to be transmitted. And you can amplify it not only uh, through electrical equipment that is specially modified, but you amplify it by what's in these boxes beyond just wires and potentiometers. And there's many ways to amplify this energy when you understand what the energy is. You don't need to have an empty box. There should be all sorts of things in there creating and amplifying the energies you're putting into it. And of course, that's what we have to do. So, um, this is ignored. People keep producing the same old crap. They make up stories while uh, people within their organizations that these people that make these machines die of cancer. They beg for money to cure their uh, relatives um, while making machines. Uh, they want money so they can go to a regular doctor to take care of illnesses. This is the kind of nonsense you get in this industry. Or people like Hulda Clark, who um, die, who wrote two giant books to cure for all cancers and then dies at 73 from cancer. Uh, these are the kind of things that happen. Now, does this make everybody's technology 
uh, void? Well, no, it doesn't. It just means they didn't quite get it right, but they have interesting information that should be looked at. Now, getting back to the vibrational type or the energy fields you create with homeopathic preparations, um, well, and I have some right here, which we're going to show you here right now. Now, here's a typical homeopathic. This is for uh, rheumatism. This is made into a pill form. And this light looks like a regular pill here. It's pretty large. Let's get it down in there. I'm going to show you the different types of... Where is that? There it is. I'm going to show you the different types of these things that you get with homeopathic preparations. So this apparently is 250 milligrams. So this is a pretty large tablet. I'm trying to see if there's something in here other than homeopathic, but it states homeopathy on it. You can see at the top there, homeopathic. That's the German spelling of it. 250 milligrams. It goes into what's here. And as you said, this is supposed to be for easing some rheumatoid pain. It also comes in actual liquid. So this is a liquid. I don't know if you can see that. You can see that. This is just a liquid. And you use drops of this many times a day. You just put this, you have a glass of water and you put it, um, you just shake it into there. Six, eight drops. You can do that three or four times a day. And here's a particular formula itself. This is a classic formula for the liver. Let me get this clean. And let's show this stuff, all those people that are interested. And of course, here's another classic way that a lot of people have used, which is the actual little tiny tablets here. Now, these, of course, you drop out like this and you just take these throughout the day. And of course, they're energetic in nature. They fill a bottle like this with these little tablets and then they send the energy into it. Uh, however, they do it. I'm not sure how different companies uh, manufacture things or not. Again, this is pretty much the same thing as this. These are just in tablets and uh, what uh, what they call globulars, 10 grams per. And by the way, here's a real multi-wave oscillator uh, antenna, which is actually made from copper and set in wood, a really nice unit. The only one I've seen like that, instead of all these plastic ones out there, which um, are not as effective depending on what you're using them for. But basically, you just have these little tablets and you just put them in your mouth and let them uh, uh, dissolve. And again, that's for the liver. These are more of a tablet. You generally swallow this. But the delivery system's important as well. And I've come up with a new way to deliver homeopathic uh, preparations that is near 100% effective. It's about 94, 5% effective getting it through your system without going through the um, stomach, the liver, the kidneys. And this is the big problem when you're taking anything in the body, including just regular supplements, is that it has to go through this whole digestive system. And, and when it does that, you lose a lot of the potency and a lot of it just isn't assimilated by the body. And that's the problem with supplements, particularly if you're using anything that's physical. The best thing to always use, which is readily available, are liquids. They used to have sprays and everything else, and you could take liquids and put them in a spray bottle and spray them in your mouth. That would be another way to take a liquid that then, again, doesn't go through your stomach, kidneys, and everything else. So, uh, again, if we have good preparations, we've got to make sure the delivery system works. So, if you've got a great bomb, uh, you want to make sure that, what do you do with it? Blow up your own house? Well, this is one of the problems in uh, World War II. Apparently, the Japanese had their own nuclear weapon, but didn't have a delivery system. Uh, it was thought uh, by many people, scientists including Einstein, that the Japanese would get a ship, run it into uh, San Pedro Harbor in Southern California, and detonate it in the harbor. Because they didn't have the delivery systems to carry those weapons, or detonation, etc. They couldn't make it small enough or whatever. They did test nuclear weapons, apparently, in North Korea. Factoids, people, history is nice, isn't it? 
So the whole idea is that uh, the delivery system is critical. And this is, again, ignored by homeopathy people and everything else. It's the same old stuff, and we're going to go back to two, three hundred years ago uh, when we should be moving ahead and how this actually works. So this is your typical thing. So these are just energetic. Uh, you would get a bottle like this if you want to make your own using a, um, a force energy machine. You would put in that particular frequency. But what you'd really do is use one of the uh, discs that I make, put it on there, and you can make your own indefinitely. You could send that frequency to yourself directly. Why even make anything? Just send it to yourself if you have the right equipment. The problem is, is people don't have the right equipment. It's not amplified. It works very poorly. And so we have very poor results. Uh, so, you know, like an instructor for the SE5 that died of cancer, and it's a well-trained instructor, a die of cancer from the SE, having an SE5 instructor, that pretty makes much that kind of technology that claims to be such great for huge amounts of money that you have to kind of guess, you know, call them up and get the price of the day. And, um, this kind of nonsense that happens out there. So, we have to keep that in mind. Uh, with all of these things out there and the people that support bogus organizations that produce garbage and don't pr uh, support people that know what they're talking about and then are arrogant enough because they're ignorant to support other people that know nothing about it. So, um, and uh, to disable this kind of technology and belief systems, uh, there's lots of intervention from outsiders which, uh, who are very evil people to destroy what little uh, empowerments there are out there. And we've talked about this as well, which have to be understood in the bigger picture. But using energy for everything, you want to manifest success and wealth? Well, it's energy. Why are some people more successful than others? Why do they do it? Well, that's because they have the energy around them to attract what they want. And that energy then also has a channel because people who are successful have a way for it to manifest. So manifesting and manifesting science is, is uh, uh, a very advanced study that uh, only this organization is out there doing. And uh, this is what will bear you great fruit. If you use all the backward stuff that's out there and the toxic energies uh, like orgone and organite, the poison that that is, all of these things are going to hurt your process of evolving. And you have to understand that. And if you're caught up in it and you're not listening to others that know better, uh, well, then that's your fault. But, you know, there's many aspects to manifest, including channels for it to manifest through. So if you want to make lots of money, how is it going to come to you? As I always say, you're not going to open your front door and find a bucket of money. It doesn't work like this. Magic lamp technology is not available and never will be, not in this reality or any other, because it wouldn't make sense, because it means that everything you desire is popped up in front of you. This would put the entire reality that kind of concept works in uh, totally out of balance. So uh, everyone has to understand that. So... Um, but when it comes to um, force energy physics, using stuff like this, understanding this type of concept that we have here, homeopathy in general, is very interesting. How effective is homeopathy? Well, I've used homeopathy on and off for years and never was impressed by its results. I've used it on pets and other things, which interestingly enough, obviously, if you use homeopathy and Bach flowers and so many of the vibrational uh, things on animals that are not um, mentally uh, involved in the placebo effect, um, it does seem to have some very interesting effects. These effects don't tend to be overly potent and don't seem to last too long. And as I said, I've used homeopathy on and off for years and have never been overly impressed by it. We have to take it to the next level. The concept behind it is good. The delivery system sucks. The basic understanding of it sucks. Uh, the concept is very interesting and good and does date back thousands of years to ancient um, uh, text from the Greeks, the Romans, the Egyptians, uh, the uh, uh, Chaldeans, uh, and that whole area there, which, of course, uh, what we know as countries today were not countries back then. Uh, the Middle East, as we know it today, was invented by the British after World War II. 
setting up lines and everything else. Countries here, countries there. All that is just all made up. But the bottom line is there were societies. These societies did have great um, libraries and other things. And there was a communication uh, to a certain level, particularly if you're occupied for 800 years like uh, Egyptian was by the Greeks and Romans. So there's um, lots of uh, information there. And then it goes into a culture that was very smart in itself uh, in the West, the uh, Greeks and the Romans, um, to what it is today. So um, of how these things filtered into Europe and et cetera. So I mean, the concepts are great, and we've got to work on that. We've got to make sure that we understand that. But everybody should experiment with this. As I said, you can get these pretty much anywhere in the world. But, you know, Europe has rejected homeopathy as of recently. Uh, nobody in Europe will fund it or give it much credit any longer uh, because of the attack from a bogus uh, common scientist that know nothing. Uh, the only country that is even allowing it, and only in a very limited degree, is Germany, where it kind of originated, uh, where ha Hahnemann um, uh, put his stuff out there. The rest of Europe, uh, I think, uh, in the Britain, they were funding it to a degree uh, through National Health uh, until recently, and they all dropped it. They dropped it. The French dropped it. Everybody has dropped it in Europe, giving it no support whatsoever um, in recent years, thinking it's just a joke because they don't understand the uh, force energy physics. And because the force energy physics is not something that is out there and used properly, it's ignored. Uh, this is what happens. But these are available. And certainly in um, the United States, uh, there is you can buy homeopathic preparations um, in many places. I'm not sure if you can get an average store. You certainly can buy it online easily, and there's people that supply this. So if you're in the United States, you certainly, and there are books on this. You can buy books on what these preparations do, uh, look it up, and then try it for yourself. You can order these. And one thing nice about uh, these kind of preparations is they tend to be very inexpensive. Most of them do. Uh, so you can try these things at a very low cost. All you've really got to do is find a book or two. Uh, that tells you what you should be taking and try them. It's very easy. It's low cost. And, you know, the problem with everything is when it comes into energies is that it's very individualistic. Your bioenergetic system is different than someone else's. Just like one person will take a particular type of medication or even eat one peanut and it can kill them. And someone else will get dramatic benefits from it. So the whole idea is that this is the nature of what's going on out there, which we all have to embrace and understand what's going on. And a lot of things you have to try for yourself. And you have to give it time, and you can't be delusional. Now, I always go into things very positive in the first week or two, uh, usually two to almost three weeks. Oh, it seems to be working. It's interesting. But then after that, when you look back at it, after your normal, positive, excited self, uh, you look back and say, well, it really didn't do anything. And that's what you need to do. So you can't go by initial results saying nothing's happening or it's a miracle. You have to go past that into what's the long-term benefit of it. Did it really handle it? But since there's no possible problems, I've never heard of anything uh, using homeopathics uh, that anybody's had any problems with, um, there's no reason why you shouldn't try it and see how it works for you. Some people claim amazing results. Uh, again, it's based on your own bioenergy, etc. I'm not sure how we can judge it. Uh, when you take, you know, any type of preparation, even if it's a common legal drug, everybody gets certain different results from it. And if you read the enclosures with these drugs, some people die. Some people have all sorts of problems. The masses of people generally tend to get a result, but that result varies per person as well. It could be amazing, it could be low, it could be poor, but they are getting a certain result, and medications, as much as everybody wants to criticize them, generally gets a result that you are seeking. Now, whether this is good long-term is another question. Whether your body rejects it or you have problems with it, well, we just don't know. Uh, so it's, it's a problem, but the bottom line is that it does work, and a lot of alternative stuff doesn't work. That's why we have drugs. It's not the fact that they're pushed on us, but most of the alternative stuff work pretty poorly. That's just the fact of it. Herbs, vitamins, etc., all critical and important, 
and something that everybody should look into in their own bio understanding. Can you handle it? Can you not? Do you know how to test them? It's really quite complicated, but there are simple ways that I've taught people on how to judge whether you need something and how much to take as well. And of course, you should consult with some sort of professional, whether it's a nutritional or your doctor, uh, particularly if you have a problem. Uh, so you have to consult with people that know what's going on and adjust it to your own bio. I am not a doctor. I am a researcher. I'm not recommending you do anything personally. You have to figure that out for yourself with a competent medical professional. So um, to find out, generally homeopathy um, is something that is probably the least possible dangerous thing. But who knows? Check out with all the people you need to check out. And of course, you don't do something stupid like get off medications, do other things because you're trying this. So carefully and use your brain uh, to how to do things correctly and judge it correctly. Uh, don't give something too much credit to start off with and don't give it too much criticism. Let it happen. What is happening? Look back weeks later or even a few months later and say, did that do anything? Uh, did it help? Do you feel better? Because in the end, that's all that counts as long as you're not hurting yourself. So you have to be careful with all of that. So this couldn't be a better area because it's so neutral. It either works or it doesn't bother you because your body will either use the energies or not use it. And there's no negative effects in not using it. So this is the beauty of it, as it is with most of these force energy physics uh, machines and so forth, the manifesting science realities and the technologies that goes with that. These either work or they don't. They generally do not hurt you in any way whatsoever. So at the very worst scenario, it just doesn't work. So, and, you know, how many things like that are there in life? Well, there's an awful lot of things in life that just don't work, plain and simple. So it doesn't work, and that's the way it is. So, but it doesn't hurt you, at least in this area. Of course, like everything else, you want to make sure you balance that with everything. So... You don't uh, wait if you have a particular problem which is hurting your body and endangering yourselves. You don't wait a year or six months of playing with stuff like this when there may be some solution from common medicine which will help you in the meantime. And, then, and that's what common medicine is good for. Take care of it now and then stop taking it later. Or there's so many other things. We're in a very confused time right now where everything has changed on us. There's not a single thing in life that hasn't been turned upside down now in these last couple of years. Uh, so it's very difficult to figure all this stuff out. All the diets are bad. This is good. This is bad. Uh, chemicals are good. Chemicals are bad. Uh, we just don't know. And we're getting it from the same people. You can look on, uh, read different books done by medical professionals, generally medical doctors, and they're going to tell you different realities that they came up with. Can we trust them? Are they good? Are they just making money? Uh, what is it with all that stuff? And of course, in the end, it comes down to does it work for you or not? Like everything in life, just like everything else in life. Someone may like a particular drink or food and they think, oh, that's the best drink and food I've ever had. And I've went into the same thing and say, well, I don't like it. I don't like any of them. I don't think it's, there's nothing good about it at all. But you think it's the best thing since sliced bread. So the whole idea is that that's the nature of life. So, and this is the mind field, and it is a mind field. Uh, if you're not careful and you don't have the right guidance from a person like myself, a high level advanced person uh, with 50 years of research, you're walking through a mind field. And that mind field, it could kill you because you're taking the wrong advice, you're using the wrong products. And this uh, could be from your local doctor. I mean, our graveyards are full of things that doctors have done. And if you're not connected to the energy, the empowerment, and the knowledge coming from an organization like this, well, you're in trouble, which reminds me, make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel, and you should be supporting us at Patreon. Getting the latest information, which is only about $6 a month, and you can join Patreon and get all the latest info, get the updates, and a lot of free stuff that we always give people. And if you want even more information, make sure you go to All Access Membership, which has been reduced in price and segmented. So if you want to learn just about uh, force energy physics, quote, radionics, you can go into that. If you want the general everything, you can do that. If you want to learn uh, metaphysics 
and how in those areas. So we have things all broken up. Uh, and of course, with all fantastic training, giving you the secrets. You want to see inside all these radionic machines? Well, that's what the radionic membership is about. Uh, and you can look inside and, uh, that we've taken apart and went through very detailed, long videos showing you every possible part of these radionic machines. Very fascinating. I'm the only person in the world that's ever done that. Like everything else, the only person to ever have a uh, radionic store for three years in Palm Springs, California, the first person to translate all the ancient texts um, into modern and put them in one place. So, I mean, there's so many firsts. Uh, the first person to ever build metaphysical radionic tools and sold them. I was the first person to do that and to get that out there to the public. Uh, everybody, there were radionic machines, obviously, before that, but they were all based for medical healing. So I was the first one to go out into the metaphysical, you know, empower yourself in other areas other than um, basically energy health. So be in touch with the right people, follow the right advisors, and you will be made brilliant. If you follow fools, guess what? You become a fool. So hopefully this has been very instructive. Lots of important information here. This is an area that we're moving into. And um, as we're moving into everything, moving away from the physical, as we're doing that even with our oil formulas and so forth, I no longer use physical oils. I only use my energy discs. Um, and that's all you need. You don't need the rest of it. Getting caught up in the physical, getting caught up in the electromagnetic energy, because it's an imbecile energy that can be... Uh, generated, measured, etc. Getting caught in that is the only way is very typical of what's going on today and the brainwashing you get from science and from the um, monopoly businesses that want to force the old technology down your throat because they're already making money out of it. Why change horses midstream regardless of how long-term benefits there may be for you? So how do you how do you work yourself through this minefield without getting your legs blown off or losing your life? Well, you have to be connected to the experts. You have to get the proper opinions from people that know what's going on. And quite frankly, the only people doing any kind of serious research who have a bigger perspective of everything, who have researched it, who have built instruments, who have uh, taught courses and uh, who have engineered things from the ground up and who have a vast amounts of old technology. I have just about every machine ever made uh, in this field or have worked with it uh, is only this organization, Off World Tech, and of course, little old Dr. Thor, me. So if you're going to survive and prosper, you're going to do it with this organization and this organization only. That's the way it is. I still have a great trouble finding anybody who really isn't a person who is not been influenced or bought off by all the evil negative forces or people just, just don't get it. So I don't, you know, unless they're following my program using my technologies, they are lost plain and simple, and you're not going to get any benefits from it. You're going to have a lot of money out of your pocket, and you're going to get no results. That's the reality to it. And we're always seeking gnosis. Gnosis means facts and truth. That's what counts. And when we find it, we let people know. But the bottom line is, is nobody's finding it other than off-world tech and this organization. So support it, do what it has to be, be part of the solution and not the problem, and everybody will do great. This will save your life. This will be what makes your life or not. Uh, we're going into harder and harder times, and it's going to be more and more difficult to be able to get these particular um, situations corrected properly and to get on with your life. Things are going to get worse, and only those who are empowered will be the ones that not only survive, but prosper and do well now and into the future. You can be part of that. But like everything else in life, if we had a lot more time, meaning support, to do the necessary development. I'm not really researching. I'm developing products to change your life with. Uh, if we have that and are able to do that, we'd all be there. And it doesn't take a lot of money. It takes a, a fair amount of supporters giving a little bit. But people want to, by the thousands, support losers uh, that... Um, produce nothing, but they feel that warm and fuzzy because these are people part of the losing establishment system that have never given you any answers at all. Do keep that in mind. And remember, there is no reality until the manifesting scientist creates it.